Okay. Alright, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Um, so... I'm hijacking it. Basic, yeah, basically the only reason Jason's here is because he wanted to talk to me and I needed to get this done, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to talk about Splatoon 2 Splatfest, but, you know, I might as well just join in with this. It shouldn't take too long. I actually made a post on my Twitter about Anna using the Miiverse thing about, like, saying... I said, like, it was a good loss, good game, Mayo. <laughs> yeah. I even made put a very crudely drawn picture of, like, a man is on a winner's pedestal. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, there's, an, there's just gonna be a bunch of plot dump. There's just gonna be a plot dump for the next yeah. ten, ten minutes. <laughs> what? Uh, Final story should take an hour at most. Yeah. Depending on how well I can get through uh, Cannon's core. We skip the cutscenes entirely. It's like it's like twenty minutes. <laughs> I would I would do this that if it wasn't an LP. I'll distract you while you go get the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that. I gotta put I gotta put that theme on in the background when we get there. <laughs> oh, maybe you should have had a guess for each story. <laughs> <laughs> Uh... Like, no, no. Okay, you know what you have done? Um, Scrappy or, Scrappy or me or... Scrappy or Nick for hero. Um, Joey for, for dark. <laughs> he would just be there because reasons. I might I might do something like that with heroes because I might need it. Well, uh, just one co-commentary per story? I mean, I, well, I could probably do Team Sonic alone, but after that I might need guess. Mm. Dibs on, um, who, who do you want for Team Dark? Uh, well, I haven't really thought anything about how I'm gonna do heroes yet. Well, like, would you want, uh, would you ever have, wait, would you want Nick or Scrappy to join? Uh, well, cons well depends, I guess, because Nick, Nick's not a lot online as, mu as much. Right. If he's, if he is on, though, we'll grab him right away. Yeah. Make him Team Rose. <laughs> Shadow is a definite no, I, I'm gonna need people for that, because that game is gonna take a while. Shadow the Hedgehog? Yeah. Or you, oh, I think we were talking about Team Dark for a second. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Have one person per path, I guess. Hmm. I mean, I did something... I did something similar with the uh, Rayman Origins... Uh, well, Rayman Legends Back to Origins runs. Well, I had... After Gibberish Jungle, I just had a guest for every world. So... <laughs> who, who was it for Destiny did you reduce? Joey? Who were the other ones I actually want to know? Uh, Gormantland was uh, Andrew. Uh, that's why. I, 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 I love that line from Sonic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Knuckles fly a ship over here is way more dangerous than you'll ever be. The fourth and fifth world are uh, Ivor and uh, someone else. Um. Uh, what's his name? I haven't talked to him in so long. Um, no, the, the, the last two are people you, you don't know, for as far as I know, but... Oh, I have a funny idea. Have Devin do, um, Team Heroes, yeah. <laughs> She's actually, uh, plays on Heroes, so... Okay. That, that, that's gonna feel a bit awkward for me, like, just being alone. With Devin? Yeah. You can still find something to talk about. Hmm. Well, whenever you're you're usually the when oh, right. when we're in a call. That <coughs> might be weird, man. I'm not used to talking to girls alone. <laughs> Let me eat hot dogs. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> So, this is where we learned in Robo Gerald Robotnik's the cause of this. Yeah. And he got, he got insane after the Space Colony Assault. Yeah. I mean... I I never thought this the, the story in the Adventure Games were bad, per se. It's, um... <laughs> It's more more the fact that like some of the some of the writing could have been a little bit better, 
and the is and the uh, I guess delivery sometimes. Mm. Like especially SA one. SA two is mostly fine, but still. Mm. And SA one just falls apart as you put it together. Yeah. I can't harp on the animation too much because of the, uh, at the time it was like, I guess pretty groundbreaking. And mm -hmm. there weren't a lot of games that had so many cutscenes, like, with full animation. Voice acting, even. Yeah. But there wasn't, well, then again, didn't SA, they didn't, um, wait, did SA1 or Crash Bandicoot come first? Uh, SA1 came out, I think, the same time as Crash 3? Hmm, well, could be wrong. Well, Crash 2 then, as your comparison. Hmm. Yeah. At the same time, though, those those games don't have that many cutscenes, and most of the time it's just heads, so they don't have to. Right. F it's more it's more about okay, let's put as much effort we can into these few cutscenes, and then the, these games just like SA one was more like okay, yeah, let very chatty. yeah, let let's uh, basically make the idle animations a little bit uh, more for cutscenes and just make them have weird mouth movements. <laughs> Let's make them weird on purpose. Mm. I have to do kind of like this, like this whole teamwork plot here. Yeah. Oh, hang on, I love this line. It's coming up. Let's get to work. <laughs> Sonic's face, like. I can't like... hear, but I know what it is. Yeah. Okay, so contrary to what that screen is telling you, this is not a Sonic-only stage. Uh, besides Shadow, we get to play as all the uh, characters in the game, and they all have their own specific section through this. And it's pretty cool, actually. The segments can be about maybe five minutes at most. Yeah. So, and I'd imagine getting the emblem, the A rank emblems, is a, is a pain. Um, I don't think, um, get, just getting the A rank for the regular mission should be too bad, but getting a hundred rings. I can tell you, but from experience, is a rough time. It's painful, actually. Yeah. Because it's... if you get hit at all, you have to go all the way back to Tails. It's mainly because of the uh, Eggman section. Oh? Because uh, there's one room in, spe in specific that has two of these ar artificial chaoses, uh. which is just evil. <laughs> I never realized. Oh, God. I never realized you have. Mm. When the when it's just one of them, it's not too bad. I run out of hands can go through doors occasionally. I know I can go up here like this. Dang it! Well, now with the lasers in. Okay, I'm just doing use this. Cause like, if you uh, jump and use the booster like at the same time, or like. Use the booster as you're still going up. You can get more height. Oh, so it's like um, a side spin jump thing. Kinda, but it's a lot more precise. Mm -hmm. Now pay Eggman. Yay! But yeah, I. I... How early, how, I'm trying to wait till we find those room with the artificial chaos you're mentioning. Uh, you'll see it. You'll you'll see it right. Like, you'll know it when you see it. All right. But, um, yeah, I, I, I like the team up, this room. Like, I don't, because my strategy is always to just, like, run up to the faces and punch them, but with two of them, like, I'm always going to get hot shot by the other one, so that doesn't work. Mm. I still, by the way, like how, you know, tell us a weird contraption between the jab and when they ran into the boxing glove. Yeah. Olay. Imagine him like weeding out the punch from normally. Yeah. Uh, this room is, this is very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I I can usually go on a little red uh, spots on the ground, but didn't work that time. Um, this is the first level to have the timers, right? The yeah. Timers see, I think it's the only level. Don't call me on that. Um. Regardless, um, yeah, they'll freeze everything around you, including doors, okay, some doors. And apparently lasers as well. Uh, well they flash from off 
Yeah. Um, let's throw some of the, 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 what's the, what's it called, what's the ability called in, um, in, in Sonic Heroes when Shadow does it? Uh, I think it's just called Chaos Control in that game. Regardless, um, that, um, oh, okay, um, that, that attack freezes time as well. Actually, you may notice, actually, when you freeze time, it also freezes the timer. I think the, uh, gen the Team Blast in general is called Chaos Inferno, or something. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, it crap. also, it also tr stops time completely. Yeah. Also, yeah, like I just said, including your timer. Uh, but if you need to, you can actually press a uh, Z if you want to cancel the team blast, which cancels the time stop. Which a lot of people, because a lot, a lot of people don't know about that. I didn't. For the longest time, I didn't know about so, what after you use Team Sonic, saying that you can still hit Z to have Sonic do the thing. Yeah, it's it might as well. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like Chaotix and um, Roses. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice. Um, in practicality, yeah, but like their their secondary abilities are more obvious. Cause they're like, okay, I'm getting invincibility in the shield. I'm getting more rings. Yeah, and like Chaotix, in Chaotix, you're gonna kill enemies by instinct, and you're gonna get rings from that. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. It makes the uh, robot carnival stages a joke. And then the I like how the rings overlap each other as well. <laughs> yeah, right. It goes across the screen. Yeah. It just it, it, it just plays that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So boom. <laughs> I remember Link talk. Uh, Link, what? Uh, Nick, <laughs> Nick, Nick talking about that in the playthrough one time. Right. And now we got arguably the hardest part. If you don't have the uh, air necklace, because you just have to be quirk. Um, right. Um, but timers, I mean, like, timers will stop these water flows. And uh, by the way, um, the first time I got, I got here, I actually got lost. I don't blame you. Okay, I can't walk through the lasers. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm looking up. I did have the air necklace, but still. Hmm. I mean, I didn't even know about um where where um, some powers were, cause like. Hmm. Like, what's it called? Um. I think it took me forever to find who's Mystic Melody. Sh uh, shadows. Uh, he's in Final Chase, I believe. I, I thought it was Rail Canyon. Uh, Rail Canyon is the light speed attack. Oh, right. Well, actually, aren't all of them in the last level? Uh, I know Sonic's is. Oh, no, wait, where, where is Rouge's? Is it the security hall? Uh, I don't remember. I think. The security hall is where you get the, um, the uh, visor thing. I think Knuckles might be in Wild Canyon, actually. Because, uh, I know. Yeah, you're right. Because, um, I think... Rouge, Rouge is in Dry Lagoon. Is it? Uh. Yeah. Cause you, I, you gotta go there once you get the pick, once you get the pick nails. Because I know Knuckles gets the, um, sunglasses in Me Meteor Herd. Which looks really weird. Yeah. It's even funny. It, I love it when you put everything on Knuckles. Yeah. Like, it's so yeah, weird when you... You got the wee punch things, you got the dead claws, you got the air necklace, you got the... Yeah, I made a comment about this in Dark Story, but it's really bizarre seeing him without his stuff. Oh, right, when you fight him in the boss fight. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to let... To pieces. You... Give them to me. <laughs> you just have to leg it uh, during those sections, because... It's you just... It's... protect Mr. Emerald. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you stop during those little air current sections, you're just gonna go back. Attack again. I know, like, Rouge does the black wave or whatever it is. It's some lightning strike, I think. Black wave. Hey, come. <laughs> black wave. <laughs> Once you're standing really close to her. Yeah. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's a free hit, is the thing. Yeah. If they do that, you are getting hit. Oh, crap. There is a glitch, actually. I mean, it might only be in the. And there goes Rare Ring. 
Does it? Oh wow, I didn't even know that. Um, really glitch, apparently, timers, you can I really messed up. <laughs> this is a great start. All right, Sonic, you're our last out. <laughs> there is a chi- I think there's a chi box at the back here. Okay, let's, let's just see. Yeah. Oh, I never knew that was there. No, no, no one's gonna go back here is the thing. There's a timer. Yeah. Oh, by the way, there are, uh, g regardless of what's happening right now in the story, you don't actually have a time limit in this level. You don't have a time limit in, well, you'll see, eventually, eventually there'll be a time limit at one point, but not through this level. Yeah, like at the very end of the story, really. A subtle time, actually a very subtle time limit. Yeah, you won't really know unless you do, unless you run out of time. Do it intentionally. Yeah. Um, anyways, oh! Woo oh my, oh, oh my head, the frame rate is, is gone. Yeah, it, so for some reason Sonic just orbits around the, um, time stopper. <laughs> Cause I guess it's trying to hit it and it can't stop on it. Yeah. For some reason I... Are we coming out to the, Tizer, to the, to the Kaiser trap? Uh, yes, I believe so. Sonic has a really short section. Right here. Yeah, I... I, uh, if you go down the uh, opposite side, I can't see, uh, you die. <laughs> yeah, and, and how are you supposed to know that? I died to that my first time. Same. I didn't know what to do. I guess the, the I guess Sonic Team's f thoughts were just like, uh, I guess the players instead would just be to go forward. But I don't know. It's a slide. Where else would you go? Yeah. So but, this um. when the camera is not really helping. Mm. But I, I do like, if it's, I don't know if it's intentional or not, uh, also, I like oh. how I still got that. Um, unintentional or not, I like that they have that slide. It kind of reminds me of Lost World in SA1. Don't they even play the music? Um. Or some kind of variation of it? It's, it's like, dun, 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 or something. Mm. It's not the same theme, but still. Ciao, world! I don't know why I'm going here now, but... Are you gonna come here later? Yeah. I guess, it's, I guess it's good for now, so I can actually have a character that can go to the Chargon, but... Oh, you never been to Chargon at all in the Let's Play? No. This was... Yeah, I... I'm the first! I'm gonna see if I can do a glitch here, actually. What's the Cause, glitch? Because I know you can, like, jump dash to the corner here and, like, like go out of bounds. But it's like... Fall? No, you don't fool, like, you just, you just kind of fly out of the skybox. <laughs> but it's like... Well, like getting thrown by Silver or something in, um, in 06. Basically, but you have full control over it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go up, though. You can only go down? Uh, you can only go forward. <laughs> I, it's really hard to do, though. Like, it's, like... Okay, screw it. I, I'm not gonna waste time. But yeah. I noticed you had like a uh, pink eggs and all that. Yeah. And the TV. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, has, has have you ever shown that like every if you like save in the middle of a game, quit the story, and come back in, it has a thing. Oh no, I haven't done that, but. Um, if you do that with if you do that in Cannon's Core, Amy talks. Oh yeah. Because I was thinking about that uh, at one point. Like I know Amy had a. Had a point of that, but I don't know where it was. Actually, can you show it? Maybe you can show it off after this cutscene. Hmm. I can probably find a video or something. Nope, I've tried. Oh. Hmm. Like, finding just this cutscene is, is, like, next to impossible. Oh, wow. So you might as well show it off quickly. Once we're done here. Cause I, you know, although, Shadow might be the one to talk. Probably. Regardless. Because I think they have bo uh, boss things as well for it. Mm. Anyways, also, I remember um, in Sonic X, it was Chris who was doing this instead of Amy. Yeah, it was, and uh, Chris and got the living crap. I think it's a little bit more fitting for Chris, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, because human Maria. I guess it makes sense, but yeah. I mean, like, out of anybody here, Amy obviously would be the best one. Yeah, Chris doesn't exist, thankfully. 
I mean, he broke. Really I never really found Chris annoying or anything. Eh, uh, it. I don't know. Like he just. I've always found him to just kind of be there. Like he's the not. House for Sonic. He's not really an interesting character. Cat food. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit over exaggerated. I'll agree, but yeah. We need to make a series of the best character, Chris Bondike. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay, you better, the, the lunch time better be over in less than 15 minutes, 27 seconds. <laughs> also, I just want to say, the uh, emeralds were just in the uh, control room, so how are they here? I guess I got moved here, because after, uh, you know, Eggman didn't the area, so who knows what could have happened. I guess. The only thing I can think of is Joe just programmed the machine to teleport them here. I well, don't know. Chaos control and what's about to show up, that's a possibility. Mm. I mean, if he made Shadow, like, have Chaos control just as a main ability, I guess. I like this little foreshadowing of this, though. Yeah. Like, earlier there's a screen of it, and then there's this thing. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> Hi! I'm gonna return. What? So, like, where was this thing being held in that machine up there? Mm, I guess. But this is the prototype of the ultimate life form right here. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so... Alright, we might as well show the thing quickly. Yeah. Let's see if it works, right? Yeah. Regardless, here it is. The file is it, which we'll talk about in a moment. <laughs> I like how they can't fit form in that, uh, thing. Mm-hmm. What'd it say? Prototype of the ultimate life. <laughs> hey, now we're going back to the next part. Shit! <laughs> see. Oh, a shadow, okay. Okay, yeah, shadow. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, they have multiple of these. Yeah, it's like for every level, bus, and stuff like that. Like, and all the characters do probably read their lines. Yeah, I think in SA1 they just had the text and that was it. I wonder what happened for the last one though, actually, because I never tried it for the final level. Mm. Yeah, I- I didn't go straight to the fight though. Yeah, I- yep. I don't, um... But the thing is, people don't usually, like, bother to, like, quit and just to see that. They, they'll they probably only see that by, like, oh, okay, I'm gonna stop for today and then go back later. Like, oh. Yeah. Cause n um, this fight actually gave me some trouble on my very, in my first time. It's, uh, not an easy boss. Really proper for a near end game boss, I'd say. Yeah, it's all, I- Except, the only the part that really messed me up is the final part. Yeah, because if you get hit there, you're almost screwed. Because you can't get rings. Yeah. Because I've died to that part a lot. Arguably, this is harder than the final hazard, but... Mm. Yeah, and I'm playing the music. I'm, you know, I'm going to be playing the uh, the 3DS version. Because I love that theme so much. Makes you wonder, like, what some of these, like, moves he's using are based on, like, they have to be, have been converted into what Shadow has now, in some ways. Oh, the balls can be the Chaos Spears. Yeah. They're like, what would the pink orbs be? The one they're shooting at you, I mean, is the Chaos Spears. Yeah. Maybe one that just suits that's standing around. I, well, I'm not talking about the, the these black balls. These are clearly like meant to be chaos spears, but um, later. Uh, no, I meant like when no, I meant like during the part where they're firing the ball, the pink balls at you like really fast. Yeah. That's why I'm the chaos spears. Oh. I didn't want. I did not want to do this. As long as you don't, as long as he has that life support system, he's invincible. Uh. Uh. You didn't get to the hard part. That, that was just weird. 
Yeah. It makes you that the hit's a little misleading though. Hmm. Makes you think you have to get rid of the life support system. Yeah, but like you can't really do that. You're not the hog. Uh -huh. Um, as a good idea, remember where the um remember where the rings are, because I hope because that little gap in the wall in, over there can carry you off. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, you have to be careful where you're standing as well, because sometimes if you get dragged away from the water, you can you can die. Uh, oh crap! Yeah, if you don't remember where the um, rings are or anything like that, try to try to keep an idea of where the uh, emerald shrine is. Yeah. Because it's usually it's there and directly across from it where the water is. Uh, come on, let me hug you. <laughs> oh god! Yeah, he can... Go too far ahead, he'll switch the tail. Yeah. You know, you know I mean, he's still kind of amazing. He, he drove him from that to this. Yeah. Uh, well, he, ha he has to know... Uh, Gerald has to know about Angel Island by this point. I feel artificial chaos, the shrine looking how it does, and right. I guess shadow being a hedgehog. I think they implied. I think. I think it also said. I think in battle they said something about him exploring, looking at a hidden palace zone. Yeah, that would that would make sense. Because you know that mural of supersonic. Yeah. That's also why um, shadow's spine might look like this in particular. Yeah, it looked like more like uh, supersonics. Yeah, obviously a little bit more drooped, but. Yeah. But that's probably just more thanks to character design. Mm. When, yeah, when the balls launch at you, that's when you make chaos spear. Mm. You see? Yeah, I I guess so. But like, what 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 would you call the black orb? So just another form of chaos spear, or? Well, it's a prototype, so you. Gotta yeah. Oh think, gosh. You gotta think of it. Maybe it's just a side ability of some kind. Mm. I need rings. You know, like, Well, another thing was the bio was, was it, like, this thing was reprogrammed by Gerald to do what it's doing now. Yeah, it's like, okay, this is a failure, but let's use this it is, as... It's a defense mechanism for his plan, actually. Yeah, basically. He was determined to destroy the humans. <laughs> Wasn't he? Yeah, seriously, okay. Like, now you'll know my loss in despair, was it? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh my goodness. I don't know how long the orbs will stay out for this thing. This is dangerous. Especially because we're this part. Ah! Uh, come on! Hurry, get a ring! Yes. Okay, if I don't do something stupid, we should be fine. Yeah, this is the part that messed me up the first time. It's a lot easier on Generations 3DS. Because yeah. they made it. Straight path. Yeah. I, yeah, the final final the theme for this is called Supporty Me, and you got to hear lyrics in the 3DS version. Yeah. The 3DS version looks like it's actually overall better, I'd say, but even though mm. it, it has more impact here. Yeah. Like, as a boss fight, Generations is better. Hmm. As a, a, as a story fight, this one's significantly better. It's a more focused, the Generations version, because it's 2D, so they don't have to worry about, like, okay, the yes. Water, there's no those water paths and all. Yeah. Also, uh, but although the other thing that's weird about this new generation version is it's Sonic rather than Shadow. Yeah, I mean, I understand in the context of the game, but yeah. Hey, look, Knuckles actually doing his power. He's in the top. He's doing his job. Speaking of um, Sonic being in the Shadow part, um, there was I think there's a trailer for this game that had Sonic in Rail Canyon, and. Which is interesting. Oh yeah, because, because yeah, the, the Shadow wasn't supposed to be, even be a playable character. Yeah, it was probably just gonna be like a, a story thing. Right, Sonic was, um, Sonic was supposed to have was Sonic supposed to have all the levels that Shadow was supposed to or something. I 
Yes, I they they would have had to uh, have added final chase though because that wouldn't have made sense for Sonic to go through two of those. Now I'm thinking about the whole thing though, like the original plan and all that. Yeah. Um, it's weird thinking about how like, it used to be just Sonic, not Eggman, and Knuckles, right? Yeah, that's what I've heard. But like, it's so weird having one villain and just these two playables in the heroes. Also, yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah, like I, I don't, I don't really know how that would really work. Like, uh, by the way, did you see how the air necklace was clipping? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I I'm do. Of, like some supersonic transformation music, and like I like the one in advance too. Mm. I kind of like how when Shadow does it in Shadow the Hedgehog, actually. Oh yeah, that's like one of the best scenes in the game. Really. I, I forget what it's called though, that theme in particular, but I love that music piece. They used it as as his all-star um, theme in Transformed. Oh, nice. I love it. And this is Super Shadow. Not Hyper Shadow, because <laughs> a lot of people thought it was that, for some reason. I don't know why, do you want to call it Silver Shadow? I mean, he kind of looks silver, so... And of course, we have that theme. Yes. The theme that everybody and their grandma knows at this point in terms of Sonic. Yeah. It's she... Green Hill Zone. Yeah, seriously? If you know Sonic's a thing, then you know this song exists. And... And there actually is a time limit for this song. Yeah, five... I think it's five minutes. Five minutes until... And then... And then... The and it'll, um... Because, it, like, if you watch carefully, you are visibly getting closer to Earth. Yeah, like, every minute or so, like, something changes. Yeah, like, I think, like, a fiery thing surrounds the, uh, the arc eventually. Yeah, and I think, uh, like, four minutes in, your character is, like, all red or something. Which is cool, but... Yeah. I, but I don't want that, like, obviously don't want that to happen. No, but I've actually, like, s like uh, let the uh, time go out just to see what would happen. I never exactly thought of it, so what happens? Uh, I... Well, like, like we said, like, just different things happen every minute, and char the uh, other characters say stuff to you, and most of the- You're probably not never gonna hear them if you're good at the fight, and just don't waste time. But, yeah, because yeah. this fight is actually pretty easy. Yeah. The last two hits can be a little bit tricky, though. Because it kind of bullet hell. You bullet hell and two lasers that just go, like, all, all over the place. These ones just shoot- yeah. If you're running out of rings, though, I think if you run to the other side of him, you and you'll switch over. Uh, if you go like below him, I believe. I don't. It's like it's kind of weird. Like you just do that, and you can switch characters, and that's just if you run out of rings or close to it. Yeah, like they're saying, that actually, he's getting pretty close to the arc. In the arc. Yeah. Yeah, when it does stuff like this, it's just pretty awkward. It's like, he's, you know, he's actually doing what he's supposed to do. Yeah. Well, it's about time, because the fir last five hits were pretty simple. We didn't even see you as a friend at the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Do I have the earrings, actually? I really don't want to... Oh, my goodness. Hurry. Yeah, I think you're at the rush. Unless he does that. Oh, that, that line there is actually something else. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no. I, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Maria. I think I saw Sonic fall in the background. I need to look back at that. I, I, I swear, as you were driving, I saw something else flat, head down. Because, like, it just doesn't... It just feels right to finish it with Shadow. Yeah. Also, I try not to do that boost thing on it because it seems to be really finicky. Like, sometimes it just doesn't... It just you bounces... Mean that aura that Sonic, like a homing attack or something? Like, what? yeah, like, well, when I'm just pressing A and B, it's, I'm controlling it myself, but when I'm near it, and then press it like that, sometimes oh, it just, it. yeah, I don't know why. Shit. Uh. Uh. Actually, does still have it on. Yeah. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, four minutes, so... Also, haha <laughs> joke about how he has the uh, cannon up his rear. I think when I was watching Psychotic, some play, let's play, um, what happened, um, what happened, his, his, his guest star drunken Dan was just singing Oops. about how the space was up his ass. <laughs> I think I made a comment saying, like, uh, like, now on iTunes. Also, um, I just want to say, shout, shout out to, uh, the Japanese version of Sonic X during this scene, because I, it was really well done. How was it in the Japanese version? Um, ba basically, Shadow uh, got took his uh, rings off and uh, just sacrificed himself like he does in the game. But what they, happened to the American then? Um, the same thing, but it's ruined because it has some generic theme. Oh, it's, the Japanese plays live and learn, doesn't it? Yeah, it actually plays live and learn. You can't, you can't oh, it replace. Has to, it has they can't replace it like that. Okay, good. Yep, there we go. But, uh, <laughs> and he's dead. Yay. Look at that thing out of his ass. <laughs> if you do, if, if Sonic does learn the final hit, he, he can say something instead. Yeah. I do like this cutscene, though. Yeah. When I first saw this, actually, I was worried. Like, is this yeah. gonna work? Yeah. This is like. They really up the stakes from anything that's happened before. Right. <laughs> Yellow ball go! Now turn the arc into super arc. <laughs> also, when I was younger, I actually didn't understand what was going on with there with Shadow. Mm. Like, there was a lot of things I didn't understand when I was first played this game. Yeah, there's things you know understand better when you're older. Like, it took me a while to realize that was him sacrificing himself. Hmm. Yeah, and it's... It's like, um, the, a lot of the themes in this game are pretty mature. Especially for a Sonic game. So that's probably why I didn't understand it back then. Hmm. I mean, I, I do get kind of misty-eyed during that scene. Right. <laughs> Eggman. What happened? He was just like, Ugh. Alright. He gave, he gives a, Sonic gives the ring to Chris in Sonic X as well. Hmm. Rouge, in this context at least, has more of a connection to Shadow. Yeah, she has the most connection out of all the characters here. They didn't actually went in X when um, they were on um, Prison Island. Did it wasn't Rouge and wasn't Chris with Rouge when he went to go save him? Uh, I think. Cause like I know for I know he was on the Ark for an extended period of time. Yeah. Like he like, I think Sonic Sonic friends went there to go save him. Yeah. yeah Cause yeah I'm yeah I'm pretty sure like uh, he got chaos control to the Ark with Shadow and Rouge, and then everyone mm -hmm. thought he just died because it the island it blew up. I guess. They gotta let the, he'll let it get to him, so they're gonna creep. <laughs> Master Chris! <laughs> uh, like this game isn't afraid to show, like, death, I guess. Right. Like, not directly, but still. Like, everyone, look at everyone seriously, like, like, thinking. It's like, they, like, after what Shadow did. Yeah. You can tell. But. It's taking an impact. Yeah, you can tell they have, they have, uh, newfound respect for him. Alright, oh, I end this line, I can't talk over it. That gives me chills. Right, like, that's like, damn, 
right? Yeah. Although, the in they kind of ruined it in Shadow the Hedgehog, where he just says goodbye forever, I think it was. Yeah, I- first time I saw that, I was like, what, is, is he gonna kill himself? <laughs> uh, but- so I, I kinda wish he said, Sayonara Shadow the Hedgehog in Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, that is a good point. Like, I- I- It had much more impact. Yeah, now I know, obviously, that he's just talking about, just... Forgetting, a, forgetting about the past, I guess, but yeah. Um... Since you just hijacked this and you seem to always, like... Have similar opinions to me. Go first. <laughs> Alright, I'll try. Um, uh, even though I'm bad at talking. Um, this, I mean, this was one of the first few Sonic games I remember, so it obviously had hold one of the dearest places to me. Um, as you know, as a, as a Sonic se as a sequel to SA One. Now, you know, now I've experienced mo hey, a good number of the Sonic games. It's you can you can definitely see a step up in presentation. Uh, and, you know, control, level design, you know, each level was made for each character. And it really shows that they wanted to step up their game. They wanted to take things in a new direction while still trying their best to keep that Sonic feel. Despite what the fan base might say. Take that, Johnny. <laughs> like, uh. I don't, I, I like playing, this, I like the Sonic and Shadow levels, except for Crazy Gadget, but that's a personal thing. Um. Uh. The, not, the Tails and, and Eggman levels, well, more so as Tails, they still are, I, I will agree, I still will say that they do feel kind of clunky to me, mm. but, you know, they're not a bad time to go through. Also, jeez, these credits are so short. Yeah, right. And, uh, you know, um, the, the Knuckles and Rouge levels I also enjoy. You know, mm. the, the, and I just, you know, I didn't really see the problems with them back then. It, it probably because I played SA2 first, so I didn't really understand the, the, the radar problems. Mm. But, you know, I'll oh, hang on. I'm gonna, I want, I want this to go. On yeah. This part. Yeah. I'll say it, I'll say it, for, I'll say it now. Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. For now. The real Shadow, as far as I'm right. concerned. Yeah. Um,. You know, as one of my first few Sonic games, especially 3D-wise, mm. this was a really good impre first impression for me. Yeah. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people's... Like, the first Sonic game people played was, pro was probably Sonic 2 or this. Right. Because well, Sonic 2 came with the Genesis. Yeah, and this, so, this right? game... This game, because, like, I want to play Sonic, but I've always been Nintendo... Who's going to have a Dreamcast? Yeah, and, like, I've always been, like, Ninte Nintendo, like... So it's like, oh, GameCube has uh, Sonic games on it. Let's get it, I guess. Right. So I'm glad. I, I'm glad I got this game. Yeah. When I did, I, it's, you know, it's it's always. I, I keep talking about how nostalgia is a good and bad thing, but mm. I like, definitely say that, like, in terms of nostalgia, I'm, I'm really glad I started here. Yeah. I mean, the, the start, it, it depends how you view nostalgia. Like, it's some. It's not something you should like. Uh, like, shove aside. Like, if you have nostalgia for a game, and it makes you enjoy it more, then you, it should, it's something that should be embraced. Yeah, the first game you play will always make the biggest impression on you. Yeah. And this was definitely it for me. Yeah. I, um, I, I had a lot more general... I probably had a more general viewpoint there than Johnny ever would. <laughs> yeah, but, um... I, I agree with most of what you said. I enjoy all the playstyles. Um, I think the Sonic and Shadow stages have a better overall focus than SA1. Um, there's obviously not as much exploration, but it's not as exaggerated as some may have you believe. Um, the Tails and Eggman stages I enjoy quite a, quite a lot, though some sometimes Tails stages, like you said, can be a bit messy or clunky sometimes, mainly for the fact that it has those areas where it's a linear path, and enemies just kind of fly into you. I'm looking at, well, I'm looking at an eternal engine at points. Yeah, there are some sections in prison lane, but if you know, if you know what's ahead, you can just go to the sides. But in your first run, you're not gonna know that. But right, enemies gonna drop down a lot. Hmm. Yeah. Like, suddenly. Yeah, you can tell that tells is the last character included. But yeah, I I like uh, Knuckles and Rouge. I think. 
I think all the playstyles overall are, are an improvement over SA1, so there's a lot more depth to them. There's only three major playstyles, so they can focus, like, more on them and less on, like, tons of different playstyles at the same time. Only one half of SA1 is good. <laughs> only one third of SA2 is, is bet is good. Ergo, SA1's the better game. Yeah, sure, yeah, because, like, a lot of people just... Because if a lot of people just assume that, like, uh, like the pe people generally say like to say the Eggman's final stage is is good, so I don't understand. I agree. Oh, I, de I definitely agree with um, um, what's it called again? Um, Cosmic Wall. Cosmic Wall, yeah. I love Cosmic Wall. It's yeah. My favorite level four in the second play style. Cause uh, yeah, cause there are stages that people will say generally that they like that they like. That's not Sonic or Shadow. So the whole one third st st statistic is just stupid, and it's like, I I just like to, uh, play the uh, play the game as it goes. Like, with S with this game and SA one, uh, as well. You know what you're getting yourself into with these playstyles. So, if you just take it as it is and just appreciate what the playstyle is and not worry about who you're playing as or what you're doing, then I don't think it's like I don't think it's that bad, really. Mm -hmm. Like I try like I don't really I don't tend to think about stuff like, like that when I'm playing the games. Yeah. I just I just go into it and, and you know, play the levels and even if I get to a level I don't like, I mean I'll be I'll still like maybe be, I won't I'll probably still be a bit aggravated over it, but it's not gonna yeah. worst place it's, style ever. It's worst one game. it's one level. Like I didn't I didn't really like Mad Space like other people did back then. It's I've grown to be. It's all right now, but like, still that was one level over like nine stages of the treasure hunting, and it's like, yeah, it doesn't. One level doesn't. One bad level doesn't ruin a whole style. That's the thing. Although that's what people say. And, and, yeah. Uh, people disagree. It has to be perfect, or else the whole thing sucks. Yeah, but um, just we're we're kind of rambling about that. Um, I I do like the uh, secondary stuff in this game. Like in terms of like secondary objectives you can do, this is this is gonna take you a while to complete. It's one of the probably one of the meatier Sonic games when it comes to a hundred percent completion, and it's because that Chow Garden. Yeah, and I I think it's a I think it's a fun ride. Like like I said, the A ranks are designed for each and every mission um they're a lot more fun to go through and um the char garden is gonna drain your hours and mm -hmm. you know it, it you don't have to do that stuff but it, i think it's a good time i think it's a lot more rewarding to go through through that stuff than sa1 is but hey what hey how about we do those missions in sa1 okay let's do the mission passive with rings instead <laughs> of just get 100 rings yeah. The, the SA1 mission just beat the levels with, with a small handicap or something. Yeah, the SA1, like, I, I, uh, 100%ed hundred SA1 at one point, and it's not terrible by any means, but it, it feels very much like, like, okay, after, after four padding, and uh, I don't know. Just do the level again. Again. Yeah. And I mean, that can be it's argued. Different, it has, it has a different objectives of, like, yeah. Be fast enough, be a hard mode. Yeah. Or, you know, cut the rings and then, you know, it, it's over. And that part's over. You know, find, find the hidden child. It, it, there's there's all kinds of different kind of yeah. stuff you can do. I guess in terms of, like, other stuff, uh, the story is a lot, I think it's a lot better than SA ones. It's still not perfect, but um, as an improvement and, like, animation-wise, story-wise... Uh, writing wise as well I think it's a general improvement and I do think uh, this is a lot of pe a lot of people prefer sa1 soundtrack but I honestly go back to listen to this games more it just does more for me um, to me at times with the soundtrack uh, actually um, I feel like um, I c at some points I have a sa1 versus a, a, sorry, a Donkey Kong country kind of thing going on where it's like mm. The, the, um, actually, like, I think, like, 2 has more memorable tracks, but I think yeah. the ones that I do remember the most in 1 
just maybe a slight touch better. Hmm. I mean, but just they, me. they're yeah. The the uh, the themes are going for going. They're doing completely different things because like SA one is focusing more on the actual environments, whereas this game is focusing more on the characters. So, you know. Yeah, that's why it's like one has their instrumentation. Yeah. But is there anything else to say about this game? Um, not really. Do you have anything else? Um, I guess quickly, the two-player battle mode is I uh, probably the best in the entire series. It's a lot of fun. I don't know if I'm going to show that off because I rarely have anyone to play with. <laughs> so. If I was there, I'd help you. Yeah. Um, or if the uh, the uh, HD version actually had online Sega. Uh, <laughs> but. Yeah, I do love this game. It's one of my. It's. I think it's one of the best games in the series. Personally, it's not perfect by any means, but I think it's thrown under the bus way too often recently. And um, yeah, I think mm -hmm. if you haven't played this, I think you should give it a shot. Right. But yeah, that's been Saga Adventure Two Battle. We are not. Uh, quite done yet. Uh, we still need to show some extra stuff that will be pretty quick, and then we'll finish up the playthrough, so, yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's gonna be it for now, so see you guys later. Bye!